Hey everybody, this is Ted Check, Recovering Reporter. So for those of you who are not familiar with uh, this, this particular website, Axios, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Axios is a, uh, it's an online only news source. Uh, I've been around for a little while and I, I do like some of the, uh, some of the stuff that they put out. I like Sarah Fisher in particular. Uh, so with this news that they, that they laid off 50 people, I was hoping that Sarah was not in that bunch. Uh, because I like the work that she's done. Uh, she's a media reporter, and I think that is uh, is vital to uh, to the organization. But anyway, yes, they have uh, they they just uh, handed out pink slips for 50 people at Axios, and so there was um, there was an internal memo from Jim Vandehey, which reminds me of uh, either Vandalay Industries from Seinfeld or the uh, famous Brazilian fighter. Vanderlei Silva. But anyway, I digress. Jim Van de Hay uh, says, uh, this is painful, and I'm going to translate for you. I'm going to translate. Let's read it and I'll translate. Quote, this is a painful but necessary move to tighten our strategic focus and shift investment to our core growth areas. That means they're about to, or they, ha they are uh, possibly losing money, so they are looking at where they're making the most money, and they're going to focus on that, and they're going to trim everything else. Uh, and that means firing people. We're making some difficult changes to adapt fast to a rapidly changing media landscape. Yeah, that means uh, that uh, people are going elsewhere for their news. They're fed up with mainstream media, and so they, uh, they are taking their time and their money elsewhere. That is, that is what that means by rapidly changing media landscape. So, we, so we're now seeing the rise, and I and I talk about this in my forthcoming book called Saving the Beast. Um, we're seeing the rise of independent and citizen journalists. journalists. Uh, why would I have trouble with that word? Um, so that's, that's taking away uh, some of the audience. I mean, that there's only so much. There's only so many consumers out there. Let's see, what else? Today is a sad day, and our full emphasis will be on handling a hard moment with grace, empathy, and honesty. Okay. Our departing colleagues will be treated with great respect and with thoughtful severance packages to provide runway toward their next opportunity. Okay. So hopefully they get, they're getting a severance package. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how long or, you know, how, how much runway that gives them. Uh, this isn't a reflection on anyone's work. It's because of changes in the media business. Yeah. Yeah. Consumers are hard to come by when when uh when they're fed up and frustrated and angry at the media if you're understandably upset by the decision please direct your frustration at me that means i'm the guy making the most money at this company so i'll take a little bit of heat it doesn't matter i'm a multimillionaire at the end of the day <laughs> so if we if I, it's it's not a laughing matter but um i'm, I'm laughing at my translation Yes, I laugh at my own jokes. Uh, Twenty. So this is this is Axios itself. This is this is the website. Uh, what, to me, what they're famous for is they they break everything up into uh, these little chunks, and and they have they're big on headings and they're big on bullet points, and and it's a form of journalism. It is. Uh, it's not the way that I was uh, that I learned the business. Um, you know, it, it, to me, it, it uh, I mean, it, it takes a certain knack to do this, to figure out, um, you know, why it matters, zoom in, you know, they use things like zoom in, zoom out. Um, it takes some skill to do that, I'm sure. Um, but it's just not the way that I was, I want to say, the, the way that I was raised. The way that I was raised in the, in the journalism business that, you know, developing the craft of journalism, but, you know, I get it. Things have changed, and and uh, you know these types of stories uh, have their place. They certainly do. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not that much of a, a veteran that I'm going to thumb my nose at uh, at new techniques. Um, you know, I'm against AI, but something like this, I see where it has its place. I don't know that every story necessarily needs to be this way, but that's this is their style. This is the Axios style of of writing um so this is an unfortunate thing uh that that people are losing their jobs 
and uh, but to me it's it's part of this vicious cycle uh, that we've seen so the, the way that I see it is uh, okay media companies they start losing viewership readership ultimately money right so then they do what what Axios did and they start firing people or, or laying people off right so when you have generally speaking if you have less people you're gonna have less people making your product and it's possible that the people that you get rid of are a lot of times the people who are making the most money which are are typically the people who have the most experience so when you get rid of when you jettison all that experience you're left with more inexperienced people so yeah you're paying them less because they've been around for a shorter amount of time but you're you might be getting less productivity and you might be getting uh you know you you have less experience on your team so therefore your product suffers and if your product suffers you're going to lose more viewers or readers which means you're going to lose more money which means you're going to have to lay off more people and it just comes goes around and around and around and around or down the down the toilet down the drain so in my book uh i talk about the ways that the media could if they wanted to could turn this whole thing around they could they could uh you know recapture the hearts and the minds of the american public to a certain degree uh if they follow my blueprint if they listen to dr ted's prescription for a healthy and happy symbiotic relationship between the media and the american public but uh they're gonna have to listen to what i have to say so saving the beast that is the uh that is the the title of the book um and uh yeah it should be coming out uh, i believe at this point we're going we're shooting for early september anyway so there you go let me know your thoughts on uh on this uh on the latest round of uh media layoffs uh, unfortunately here at uh, axios let me know your thoughts on all this and i will talk to you later